This guy is taking the driving seat, Mike Ray, on the CB500 aerodynamics test. He'll be fine. I'll be it's fine. just right. So as the water hits the bike, <coughs> first hits this, dispersing over the rider's head as the wind flows this way, and then all the drag and excess wind gets dispersed this way into a thin stream, which should make it faster. Hopefully, that's the plan. Anyway, let's do it. I want to get in wet. As you can see, it's only hit his shoulder and the top of his head. The helmet actually acts as something aerodynamic as well. So his crotch is pretty dry. As you can see, it's run down his back and that will be deflected down here. So actually quite successful. It can tell us a lot, I think. This is test number three. I'm trying to show the difference, how the fairing makes a difference to the rider. All right, here we go. Three. Three, two, <laughs> right, as you can see, this makes a hell of a lot of difference. If you didn't have the fairing, you'd be completely soaked slash hit with the wind which would cause drag. This is the, uh, a very, very rough indication of how drag and aerodynamics work and laminar flow and all that business. So as you can see, this is very clear. That's why we need a fairing. <laughs>